Hello and welcome back to the Jewels with Gem podcast. I am your host Gigi and I hope you're well. If you're new, welcome. I'm honored to have you here. And if you're returning, I'm so humbled to have you back. And to all my new subbies, welcome, welcome, welcome. You are the true VIPs indeed. And thank you so much for the support. I hope that you and I can share and learn together on this journey because it's never a destination. So today I'm doing things a little different. Um, and I wasn't even sure um, whether to use this fair use policy, but um, I'd rather be safe than sorry because I have attached the picture of the person I'm going to be talking about in the thumbnail. And, you know, I obviously haven't asked for permission. So here goes. Um, I normally don't even engage or even indulge that much in celebrity news or gossip. However, this particular story really, really touched my heartstrings. Um, Gender-based violence is, you know, already a sensitive topic in South Africa with more than um, so many domestic violence cases just being opened up like every single minute. And I may be exaggerating, but... I actually want to drive the message home as to how many people are actually living in homes that are domestically abusive and violence is just something that I can't even tolerate and even watching um, the show that's all the rave right now is Squid Game was just almost unbearable and no I haven't finished it yet and not even that I'm trying to compare the show to you know um, physical abuse or domestic abuse I'm just really trying to drive home once again my um, my intolerance, if that's a word, for um, for extreme violence. Um, so, about three weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken, um, Boiti Tulu was attacked by Bougie, and there was also a horrific um, recording and audio which was leaked which basically recorded the entire incident um i think one could even say like the crux of you know the incident now if i remember correctly at some point we did have venus in scorpio a couple of weeks ago that was transiting yeah i think venus was in was in scorpio at the time a couple of weeks ago and we were also going through um mercury retrograde as well and um I talked about Mercury retrograde quite briefly in the Mercury video where I was explaining um, that it's just a time when we need to, you know, reflect and pause and really just consider the decisions um, that we've made up until that point. And, you know, also it can indicate a time of endings and a time where there's a whole lot of disruptions like example um you can have issues traveling you could have issues with communication like maybe your phone stops working laptop breaks down etc etc so it's really just a time to just usa and you know be in a meditative space mentally if that makes sense um so and venus being in scorpio also is just it really just alludes to really intense feelings um extreme jealousy and honestly i can just describe it as just behavior that is just beyond the norm it's not it's not it's not really common like somebody who would really be affected by a venus in scorpio transit would make somebody like really obsessed with either their partner or whatever it is that they deem is venetian so um it doesn't even have to be a person it could even be their work it could even be um you know it could be anything really that they could be obsessed with at that point in time but it's definitely behavior that is unusual that the person wouldn't normally exhibit because remember transits are there to sort of influence in a particular way so um venus being in scorpio is definitely gonna influence like (sighs) some really weird intense deep feelings of extremes so you either love and hate at the same time and it's really just an energy that is that is uncontrollable for the most part you know venus in scorpio is very um yeah 
I'll definitely do a video about that. That's definitely coming in future videos. Um, so, you know, the, like I said, the behavior is just abnormal. And um, Scorpio also represents taboos, which I will also talk about later in this video in relation to this topic. And the reason why I'm even saying a taboo is because, I mean, you know, it's not really something that we usually it's actually it's unheard of for you know a gay guy to be assaulting a female a woman like i don't know if that is something that is happening out there in the world but this is definitely a first for me and you know especially in on such a broad scale like on a public gosh i'm even i'm even feeling heavy just talking about it but um yeah um it just it just brings a whole another meaning to gender-based violence because usually um gay people are considered quite feminine and um or they or rather they exhibit quite feminine energy or they have a, a lot of feminine qualities so um yeah the the way that this assault may have happened could have been um due to this as well of course i was not there so you know i don't know the full details so to be honest it was really hard to get the exact date of the day that the, the incident actually took place however um i did manage to find the transits that um Boiti was going through which I found to be pretty interesting. Um, I'm also not sure of her birth time. However, I still went ahead and snooped and I was like, I'd like to share with everyone what I found. So um, I found Uranus square ascendant, Saturn conjunct her ascendant as well, Saturn square her MC, which is also known as the 10th house, um, Sun square Uranus and Mars square Uranus. So the first thing that really jumped out to me was um, Sun square Uranus and her Uranus squaring her ascendant. So Sun is of course our vitality. I have explained this in my Sun video. Be sure to um, check that out if you want to know more about the Sun. Actually all of the planets. I've actually done all of the planets. So um, any planet that I'm actually bringing up here, you're more than welcome to go check it out. Um, I've done videos on on the planets for you know a deeper understanding of what it is that they mean in your chart and how they influence you and in which ways um so you know the sun is of course our vitality where we shine um and how we shine is of course determined by the house it's in and um where sorry where we shine is determined by the house it's in and how is determined by the sign so Boiti, you know, is is a Taurus, so she shines or she best expresses her vitality when she's indulging in sensual activities or when she's being feminine or when she's indulging in things that you know bring her, which bring her pleasure, which is pretty much um, seen in her lifestyle, um, and it makes just it just makes total sense. Um, and then Uranus is that planet in our charts that represents sudden changes, surprises, how we like to shock people, um, where we are considered weird, you know, or kind of offbeat, um, surprises, like I said, and this could be bad or good. I think it just depends on the individual's perspective on how they would perceive anything that's happening to them or happened to them. Um, a square is an aspect and a square is perceived as being a negative aspect simply because it represents conflicts or challenges so um having said that as well uranus is also currently aspecting her ascendant which also makes so much sense because the ascendant is the physical body and um it kind of to a certain degree um explains or determines what type of body you may have um this can also be determined by your ascendant sign and of course we're not discrediting dna here but planets or even aspects in your first house really do have an impact on the way you look or rather how you perceive because the ascendant is also how other people view you before really getting to know you so the ascendant is kind of like your mask it's it also represents like your physical body um how you can do the things you do your weight structure um 
because like I said, the signs and the sign that you're sent is in really is the one of the most important parts of the birth chart, especially when analyzing the birth chart, because that tells us which or it tells us the order rather of how your chart is going to go and what your 12th house sign is going to be so um it's one of those planets that's like really important actually now that i'm thinking about it, one of my good friends vanessa i call her van because you know me and nicknames gosh but anyway um one day we were talking about her weight loss journey and you know i was so excited for her i was like oh my gosh that's amazing you look amazing and you look like you're feeling amazing and that's even better um you know and because we talk about so many things we ended up talking about how she always seems to be in situations where luck just finds her and i ended up saying oh my gosh like are you sure you don't have um jupiter in your first house i think i i just put it out like that um because i was just like I just, I just couldn't believe it like sometimes when i'm listening to her I, I i literally feel like her life is an entire movie and i'm just there, like in so much awe and i'm just there in so much awe because of how exciting you know her life seems to unfold and how she just seems to be at the right place at the right time um and then she she actually took a screen grab of her of her chart and showed me that her jupiter was actually in her first in her first house which also explained a lot in terms of her weight gain because obviously before she had lost the weight um you know she had a bit of weight on her and she felt the need to you know lose the weight so um you know makes perfect sense again um so uranus squaring Boiti's ascendant could mean that she was going to experience something that was going to suddenly alter her because Uranus is about sudden changes and of course you know alterations are changes so um, she would experience changes to her physical appearance or her physical body and that it would be unpleasant to some extent because of the aspect the aspect is a square so um you know there would definitely be some change to her physicality in some way shape or form um the other aspect that also jumped out to me was mars square uranus and (laughs) i'm actually so shocked at the amount of uranus energy that's actually present here it just means that boyt is going to go through a lot of changes some of the changes might be really shocking to people um, she might even change, you know, her fashion, her style, the way she represents her st- herself, the way she um, comes across to people. It's really going to change. But um, the nice part about it is that she's not going to be really doing it for people. It's going to be more about how she feels about herself and, um, you know, how comfortable she is in her own skin and really allowing herself to you know sometimes just push the boundaries of it because you know uranus is that energy that pushes the boundaries like i said it shocks it it you know it's weird it's eccentric it's different so um i'm really i'm really excited for her and also just to see her growth as well but anyway enough about that um so mars is the planet of, of aggression and violence and action and imagine this meeting up with uranus in a square and like I can already imagine what you guys are probably thinking I'm going to say. You already know what I'm going to say. And yes, it's a sudden violent because Mars represents violence. Again, it's also the co-ruler of Pluto. So, you know, Pluto is also known for being a bit violent. Um, So, yeah. So it's like violent action towards her in some way shape or form and gonna be very sudden it's gonna be something that's gonna be very shocking that was totally unexpected again um uranus energy coming out to play here and um so she's going to experience a sudden which is a uranus theme violent which is a mars theme action which is also a mars theme towards her physical appearance being the ascendant 
so um we also have saturn which is currently transiting her first house and you know that just basically means a major life event is about to happen in in her life or has happened um whether that be good or bad just depends on the aspects and of course how she would perceive it at the end of the day because we still have free will so um how we perceive certain things that happen to us is definitely dependent on how we are doing you know mentally um and then because also saturn is the planet of time karma and patience and also understanding and overall understanding of you know oneself so this is definitely exciting um for us you know as fans to see her actually getting to a place where she can be comfortable in her own skin and you know really just accept things as they are because there's a lot of wisdom to be gained here so i hope she really goes through the positive um parts of it and really takes the 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 positives out of it and learns the lesson and just you know keeps it moving um saturn is also conjunct her ascendant and you know with conjunctions it can pretty much go either way it's kind of like a 50 50 type of aspect so it could go in a really good way and it could go in a really bad way also again it just depends on perspective and how that person would you know view it um but pretty much the 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 changes are definitely going to be long lasting whether they are good or bad it's definitely going to be one of those things that she's going to look back at her life maybe 20 years 30 years from now and be like oh my gosh i still remember when that happened and this is how it changed me this is how i grew from it etc etc um saturn always very permanent changes uranus very permanent changes usually pluto very permanent changes i could actually say most outer planets if they're going to make any aspect to your personal planet so your personal planets are your sun your moon your venus your mercury or your mars if any outer planet is making any type of aspect to those planets then the changes that it brings about or the effects that it brings about is definitely going to be something that is going to be like long lasting like you're going to remember that forever you know um and then also i also noticed that saturn is also squaring her mc which is her 10th house and the 10th house is known as the house of the public um it's our reputation it's our career so perhaps boity you know maybe going through a time in her life where she may be questioning her career she may be considering making a career change um or maybe she would just like to do something completely different to what people you know have witnessed over the years um and she may also be very concerned worried maybe very fearful or maybe even insecure about how she's going to be perceived you know or this transit can it because it can happen in there are so many variables to this so it can happen you know in various ways but um she may also be really self-conscious about herself when she's in public spaces um she may experience some self-confident issues or even some self-esteem issues and she may also be feeling to some extent a, a, a bit of rejection and a bit of betrayal which i can imagine because obviously what has just recently happened to her was you know a situation that was made public and you know it was humiliating to a certain extent it was horrific it was traumatic so um you know this is going to be something that's going to be weighing really heavy on her mind and going to be weighing really heavy on the minds of the public as well um this is going to be something that she's probably when she does get back into the public space and she starts doing interviews again this is definitely going to be a topic that everybody is going to want to know about so i guess um we just need to give her time give her her space and just you know allow her to heal in the best way possible now um if we take that energy and we fuse it into what was going on at the time astrologically speaking now this has nothing to do with anyone but we're just talking about the universe and its transits and she um venus was in scorpio and as i mentioned before scorpio is a very intense energy um it's the house of extreme so there's going to be extreme jealousy there's going to be extreme manipulation just extreme controlling vibes um 
things that were hidden are definitely going to come to the light here so you'll see a lot of the time um people will tell you will have in-depth in-depth conversations with you and tell you how they really feel about you and you may not have known this like it might be good it might be bad it just depends obviously because you know scorpio is also a brutally honest type of energy so it will definitely be very cutthroat very you know in your face very (laughs) confrontational um very direct because also ruled by mars which is also a very direct um you know planet so however somebody's feeling about you this is definitely going to come up to the surface especially if it is something that you really didn't know um so if they love you very deeply this is something that they're going to be able to express to you because of the energy that is influencing um us at that point in time and remember we have different charts and i think i mentioned this in my other my other video i think it was i think it was my saturn video where i was mentioning the fact that um the only time that your chart is going to be duplicated is every 25,000 years. So you have a very unique chart and how the, um, how the transits are going to affect you is going to be very peculiar to your particular experience. You're not going to experience, you know, the same sort of like life as anybody else. Maybe as somebody who is 25,000 years older than you, but we can't even get to 50 so anyway i digress um so yes if you take that energy and you just fuse it with um venus in scorpio yeah things things may be blown out of proportion and um intense feelings of remorse and regret and you know just also feeling like you're just out of control um I think it would also be interesting to check out Bougie's chart as well, just to kind of see what was happening there and how the planets may have influenced him. Of course, this is definitely not a way to excuse the behavior or to make the behavior seem plausible in any way. It was absolutely not. It was, you know, horrific. It was traumatic. It was completely wrong. Um, Nobody should have to face that type of trauma. But these are things that are happening in the world. So um, we need to be we need to be aware of that but it would definitely be interesting like i said to just see what would have been going on in his chart as well but um let me know if you would like to do more of these types of readings or these types of analogies i truly enjoyed myself and i hope you did too um i was actually supposed to start with the houses series but this was just on my mind for the longest time (laughs) this was on my mind for the longest time and um i really wanted to spice things up a bit um just make things um just a bit more different um because you guys know i'm just always trying to be different and you know eccentric (laughs) so i just wanted to express my energy um in a different way um so yeah i really hope that you enjoyed it um in my next video i will be discussing actually you know what i'm not even gonna say what i'm gonna be discussing because you know i might say i'm gonna be discussing one thing and then just discuss something else completely (laughs) just discuss something completely different so um i won't be i won't be saying that i won't be mentioning that but um on that note thank you so much for tuning in let me know your thoughts in the comments down below Show me some love and subscribe to my channel if you'd like. Again, your time spent is much appreciated. Till next time, you know what you do. So keep doing what you do. Peace, love, and most of all, light. I'm out.